What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Black Ops 3 in 2024. This video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be revisiting the Xbox version and the PC version. Mainly because both versions have different experiences and some versions have things that the other version doesn't. I'll explain everything as the video goes on but I want to start with the Xbox version since I imagine most people that are playing this game are on console. I am going to be playing on Xbox like I said before but I don't have a PlayStation anymore so I can't really show you what it's like on the PlayStation side, but I'm pretty sure if there are players on Xbox, I'm sure there'll be even more players on PlayStation. So as I was just scrolling through the modes, I noticed that there are players playing Capture the Flag in the Featured category, which is very weird because I never see this whenever I revisit this game. So currently it's 6.50pm on a Wednesday. It might not be peak hours, but there should be enough people online during this time to find a match. And I'd imagine most people are playing on American servers, so I should have the best possible uh, chances. Hey, we got into a match. Cool. Oh man, I do not miss the hard drive era of consoles. So here we are. It's Black Ops 3 in 2024. People are clearly playing it, but I'm going to experiment with some more modes after this, but I'm genuinely surprised to see that Capture the Flag is playable. I do think it's because of the double XP. Oh, that was quick. I do think it's because of the double XP, uh, because featured playlists uh, do have double XP, so people are just trying to grind out the game and get as much stuff as they can while they still can. And I've never played Capture the Flag before, I don't think ever, in this game. So, I am very clueless as to how this works. It's ironic how I came from making a video on the worst Call of Duty of all time, to arguably one of the best. Let me see if I can avoid this dude. He has a flag! He has her flag. Someone please kill him. Are you going to do it? What the f- Am I just not used to- Where are my attachments, bro? Okay, I think I'm just going to stick to this KN44 because I clearly can't use anything else at the moment. And there's a thing. Kobe. No, 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 not the worms or whatever that is. No. Oh, God. I hate those things. People wonder why I prefer ranked COD over casual COD. This is why. It's just it, you hit a point where you're just being steamrolled and it's just not fun. Yeah, we got fucked. This guy in the bottom was just AFK, just farming. He, he's he's one. He's level 1, so he has to be farming. Despite me being completely destroyed there, I'm pretty glad that Capture the Flag is playable against players' variety. I know this is kind of a hot take, but Black Ops 3 is arguably the second best Call of Duty of all time. In general, I just really liked the advanced movement era of Call of Duty, and Black Ops 3 was definitely the best of the three. I just like how the movement just gave you so much freedom. You weren't locked to anything like how it was in Advanced Warfare. There's one more. Oh god. There we go. With Advanced Warfare, you had advanced movement, but you were pretty restricted with it. You could only go like left, right, uh, straight up, straight down, like really quickly. It was nice and it was fun, but Black Ops 3 basically gave you so many more options. And he's just in sp he's just camping for the for the spawns. Is that, is that a capture the flag thing? No, they're gonna take it back, mother. I wish it was like Halo, where you had to like stay in a certain area for a certain amount of time. This one, it's like. Even if you just touch it, it'll just go back. That's annoying. Oh no! The mine! <laughs> Boom. We should be good now. There we go. Nah, why? Two seconds! And you're there still. I don't know. What, what are you doing, bro? I... I I literally hate people that do this. What are you doing, bro? You're not playing the goddamn game. If more people would just play the objective, these games would be so much more fun, but rarely do I find kids like that. Yeah, that wasn't so great. <sighs> Look, I like that Capture the Flag is populated, but it's only really fun when people are actually playing the game and not just farming XP. So let's try something else. Let's see. Let's see if Team Deathmatch is populated because it says there are zero players, but 
as we know, percentages aren't always accurate. Hey, we got one. Cool. What did we get? Nuketown. There we go. Also, this is probably my favorite version of Nuketown of all the Nuketown versions. Just because I really like the futuristic theme they're going for with this. Still gives it that Black Ops 2 vibe. Ooh, ooh. Oh, get juked on, kid. I don't know. I just really like the bright colors of the map. Uh, I really like the the tech theme going on. It just it just fits so well in this kind of game. I think after this, I'll go to the PC version and show what it's like playing there. Because clearly this is playable. It's fine. Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag. I'll quickly go over Hardpoint, but I'm pretty sure that's also populated as well. What the hell did I just do? Hello. What are you doing in here, bruh? Oh! Oh, I thought he was a mannequin. I don't know why. I mistaken him for a mannequin. Give me something to shoot at. There we go. Let's go. Give me something to shoot at. One more. No, how is that not a hit, bruh? Ain't no way that's not a hit. So far, what are you guys' thoughts on Black Ops 3? Do you still play it in 2024? Uh, did you play it at any point in your, uh, in your life? Uh, tell me your guys' experiences. I would like to know them because uh, this is... I'm not even kidding. This is probably my second favorite Call of Duty of all time. There's only one reason why it isn't number one, and I'll go over that in a minute as soon as I finish this match. And this Wheeze guy is just destroying us now. Just one more kill. One more kill. <laughs> Let me keep my 1.6 KD. There we go. Oh, remember emotes? God, these were so cringe. I mean, they were sometimes cool, but I'd say about most of the time they were pretty cringe. Oh, remember when the internet was freaking out about the ship being there for um, Infinite Warfare? There was a teaser event going on where if you finish a Nuketown match, you'd get, you get the ship that you would see in the game in the background when Nuketown blew up. And then you get like a symbol from one of the factions in Infinite Warfare at the end screen. It was really cool. The only reason why I don't consider this game to be my number one game is because of the black market. And I know there's this movement of, we should go back to loot boxes because they were more generous. They gave you free stuff. Uh, no, you like the free aspect of loot boxes. You like the concept of being able to build up points and get free cosmetics and free items. I understand that, but loot boxes are not the answer to that. Loot boxes in general is just unrestricted gambling that anyone from... I don't know, a kid to an adult can play. And worst of all, they had pay to win items. I believe I have a class set up for one of them. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, this one, the RSA Interdiction. I think that's how you say it. Basically, you couldn't get this unless you got really lucky and unboxed it through a loot box. And depending on the weapon, it could give you an advantage in the game, which is really bad. Now, I know the boy client unlocked everything for PC players, which is really nice. But back when this was the game of the year where modded versions just didn't exist, this was a big problem because some people would have an advantage over other players simply because they got lucky and unboxed it through a loot box. So with the magic of video editing, I'll bring us over to the PC version right now. So this is Black Ops 3 on PC using the boy client. As you can see, the game looks cleaner, the resolution is higher, the graphics are better, Better, and on my end, it's a lot smoother since I'm playing at 144 hertz. And Seraph is looking sexier than ever. And I wonder why I'm chronically single. Anyways, the best part about this mod is that it unlocks everything for free for everyone. So if you go into the create a class. I have a bunch of classes set up with a bunch of uh, black market items that were locked behind loot boxes before, but thanks to the mod, I can use them freely uh, without any restrictions. And the same thing can be said with specialists. If you go into Seraph's uh, customization, everything is unlocked in the black market, which also means that the black market itself with the loot boxes you don't need any of that. Everything is unlocked. You don't have to pay for anything or grind for anything if you don't want to.
Now the big question is, is it playable? So let's go into the server browser. Usually this varies uh, depending on the time of day and the actual day itself, but it looks like uh, Nameless Noobs, which is the server I play on, has seven players and six bots. So let's get right into it. Cryogen, I've never seen this map before. And yeah, that's, that's a good thing for me, I get to explore something new. So unfortunately, half of the people here are bots, like I said before, but at least it's playable. Now this is a DLC map, I've never played this, so I'm kind of lost here. But the good thing about this is that I didn't have to pay a single dime to get access to this. Oh, that would be so cool. And that's what I didn't like about DLC map packs. There's this whole movement and whole debate on, oh, we should go back to the DLC map packs because you got more money or you got more value out of your money. Well, yes and no. Uh, the, the thing is, yeah, you got more for $15 per map pack. But the problem is you were severely punished if you didn't get the map packs. You know what, this gun kind of sucks. Like for example, when I was uh, first playing this back in 2015, 2016, I did not have digital currency. I was 14 years old. I didn't have a credit card or a debit card to purchase DLC map packs with. I mean, hell, my parents were very anti-gamer. I was just thankful to have the game in the first place. But that also meant I had zero access to DLC stuff. So I was left out on half the game, uh, most of the zombies, and that, that just wasn't okay with me. That kind of sucked. Oh, pff, that would be so cool. I forgot that third. These days, DLC maps are free, but the catch is that skins are like 20 bucks a bundle. And I know that's very expensive for what they actually are, which are just pixels on the screen. But I'd rather have expensive optional skins that don't affect the gameplay over $15 DLC map packs that do affect the gameplay. Let's let's change this weapon up. Uh, what should we use next? MX Ran? Yeah, I'll use this for now. Ooh, it has the ping too. That's nice. <gasps> you can't... I'm pressing the R button. You can't reload with this gun? That's crazy. You have to dump the whole mag to reload. It's little things like that where I never really got to experience these unique weapons just because they were locked behind loot boxes. That was terrible, my god. Just having these unique weapons that make the game more interesting locked behind loot boxes, making them pay to win was just so messed up in my opinion. Oh, this is the uh, infinite ammo LMG. This was crazy. Basically, this thing does have a magazine, but it only reloads with time. You can't manually reload it. You just have to wait. Huh? Oh, that's bull. But look how my ammo count is like slowly reloading. Let me shoot in the air. Look how it's slowly reloading. I have to wait for the bullets. I can't just reload it. It really is unfortunate that a lot of people aren't playing this mod anymore because I would love to play this with normal lobbies with normal people. But I guess people just aren't interested in Black Ops 3 anymore. And hopefully this video kind of inspires people to come back into the boy client because I would really love to play with you guys. And again, I'd love to play normal matches with normal people. I'd say both the console and PC versions are worth checking out. However, if you are going to play this on PC, I strongly very strongly recommend you to download the boy client and play the game through that simply because it's a lot safer you don't have to worry about people leaking your ip address or spin botting you in every other lobby population wise it'll just depend on the time of day and where you live so that is going to be it for today's video what are your guys' thoughts on black ops 3 let me know down in the comments below i hope you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe for more content and i'll talk to you all later